Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic table using Power Automate using Excel data. If you aren't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe and make Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, and Teams videos. Okay, let's get into the video. So I am storing my Excel document in a SharePoint library. Uh, we are using the testdata.xlsx. Let's go open in browser, show you what data I'm working with. Let me zoom in. Right, I just have um, some simple data. In my data, I'm actually using a column header. So it's person, food, sports, and hobbies. And this is all my data. So let's get into creating the flow. So this will be, in my case, it will be an automated cloud flow because I'm going to trigger this using when the file is updated in my SharePoint library. I'm just gonna name it dynamic Excel table. And I want to do SharePoint. When a file is created in a folder, let's do modified. When an item or file is modified. So let's go to create. So in my case, it will ask for the site address because this is my trigger. I'm using the marketing SharePoint. I'm not using a list, I'm using a library. In this case, it's the document library. And for the folder, I'm just going to navigate. So the regular documents folder on SharePoint is under shared documents. So that's the folder I, I'm going to be using if I show the contents, as you can see, forms, general notifications and planner. Um, that'll be these, but my file is contained within the documents library. So I'm just going to keep it as is. So let's go to create a table for the Excel operation. So create table. It is creating connection with my Excel online. So it's all good to go. All right. So the location is going to be in my SharePoint site marketing. Document library it will be documents. The file. So I can actually pull a file name here. I believe in this case, I'm going to do slash file name with extension because I believe that will um, pull a file I'm actually using. All right, so for the table range, since it's dynamic, it's going to change. The columns are gonna stay the same in the case I'm using. Um, the rows are gonna be different. So I could have like 10 rows, but sometimes the data will be 24 rows. So in that case, I'm going to use this formula, which I learned off the Microsoft forums. It's going to copy and paste and I'll put it in the description. So we're using an offset function on my sheet. So let's go actually go into my test data. As you can see, the sheet is sheet one. So whatever your sheet is named here, you would enter it here. Uh, the range will be from A1, 0, 0. And then I have it going on the subtotal. 103 and then with the sheet one again so be pretty much in my case all you have to do is change this last number so in my case i have four columns um one two three four and we're just going to change this to four because that's always going to be stay the same and that'll be um the number of columns in your table Table name, I'm not going to do anything. Column names, I'm not going to do anything. So this should work and this should create a table. And if we're able to create a table like this, we're able to use the other um, operations for Excel because we have a table and most of them require having a table, which we don't yet. So let me go in and my flow is when an item or file is modified. So let's go in and modify this. Let me close it out actually. And then we're just going to... Um, Add this because this will change when it was modified. So I remove the A and then added it back in. Uh, it looks like it didn't update. So let's actually remove the A and that should update it. So you can see it was modified a few seconds ago. So this should trigger my flow. I think sometimes there's a delay of like one to two minutes. So just be patient and it should run because I followed the action, the file got modified. So it will trigger the flow when it, oh, that was actually pretty quick. 
So as you can see, um, September 5th, 11, 18, we'll just go in and check it out, make sure everything looks all right. So when an item or file is modified, create a table. So it's working with that data. So let's go in and actually see if it created the table. I'm just going to open in the browser here. And it looks like it didn't do it. Huh. Nope. <laughs> it did. It just took a second to update. So as you can see, we now have a table in Excel. It's dynamic. And I'm able to do some sorts on it. And I'll be able to use the other connectors, all the operations. So if I want to add a row to this table now, I'm able to do it using Power Automate. So that'll be the video for today. I will link the Microsoft forum post that I got this from. Um, shout out to Ikuni007 for the work he did on finding this formula for dynamic tables. And if you have any video requests, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will catch you in the next one.